Howdy, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Let's Play adventure in Final Fantasy 16, where we left off last time with a pregnant lady being escorted away. Also, we can go back into our house, though, and see if maybe she had any, like, treasures inside of here. We've defeated the only icons left now, really, are, are Clive and Josh. What? It's just the two of us, and Barnabas has been defeated. And then also, if you have a look at the map, there's a quest up ahead, which I'm assuming we'll get to kind of as we go. I did go back to, between videos, I went back to the hideaway and stocked up on potions. And while I was there, I noticed there was a number of new beasts available for us to hunt. But it seems as though most of them are on ash, which means we're going to need to explore the continent a bit more before we're able to actually hunt those monsters down and then get what we need to build the ultimate sword and the two Ouroboros uh, pieces of kit that we can equip to, I guess, increase our... Why is it so quiet? It's so quiet right now. Neither Clive nor Joshua have said anything. We've just been running in silence. It's very unusual. Oh yeah, there's a lot of resistance on this one. I don't know why, but these two gates in this village have had the most resistance of anything we've interacted you with in right, this game. Joshua. About what? What was Joshua right about? We're just gonna leave it at that? That's what we're gonna say? Who's this? Up Survivor up ahead. Is there no peace for a dying man? What happened here? The ether floods made savage priests of my companions. And those faithless orcs I knew they weren't to be trusted. We were told that they would stay loyal to our cause. Something commanded their loyalty, but it was not us. It's a wonder they stayed faithful for so long. Perhaps they sensed our downfall. The king is gone. Our nation in ruins. What becomes of us loyal pawns now? Sworn to a shattered throne. Fuck Wallowed. <coughs> Fuck the dead king and his god. <coughs> Fuck this withered shithole. <coughs> the floods do not affect you. You are a bearer, albeit one who's lost his brand. Pray, hear me, brother. Will you grant this pawn his final wish? Will you lay my dying soul to rest? Of course. What do you need? Oh, finally, some luck. Beyond the castle walls, towards stone here, there is a forest, never turn. My parents are buried upon the bluff, nestled amongst the trees. Theirs was the only love I ever knew. I was torn from them in life, but perhaps I can return to them in death. Take my ring. See that it rests beside their bones. May you find peace at last. Well, that got heavy. That got just very heavy, didn't it? Goodness me. I mean, of course we'll do it. We're not monsters. Still, though. Don't tell me. The only way to the capital... ...is through that gate. 
just as you surmise. There's an army down there, Joshua. Yes, but I don't see any dominance. The music is very Final Fantasy right now, and I appreciate it. The music in this game's been great, but like, you know, Final Fantasy music has a certain, a certain flair to it. Oh, we're really gonna have to fight a wild chuckabo. Is that what we're doing? I, I don't see any reason for this. You, you can just go on and continue your grazing or whatever you were doing before our arrival. There's absolutely no reason for you to get involved in, in, in this and like stand in the way of our travels. It's entirely uncalled for aggression on your part, you wild chocobo. We know what? We need to take this moment to have a look at our new abilities that we've got. I can't believe I forgot about those, but we've got a whole new and I guess final set of abilities over here that we can choose from. So what have we got? Well, first off, we've got this. Replace Clive's current weapon with Odin's blade. Landing abilities with the Arm of Darkness fills Zante Zantetsuken Gage. <laughs> a hold a, a square to execute the a maneuver, whatever it's called. Surge forward and strike enemy can be executed multiple times in succession if previous hit lands. Each hit lands landed fills the... Again, the Zantisutinskin gauge. Summon the legendary spear Gungir and execute an extended flourish of deadly slices and strokes. Each hit land fills the gauge. Again, with this gauge, used to recover immediately from any ability or action. I beg your pardon? How does I'm sorry, what? So, like, what? If we get hit or whatever? What? I'm so confused. Hold on. Used to recover immediately. What does this do? Rift slip? And then what are you? Summon a second blade and unleash a flurry of attacks. Each hit landed six... Guess what it does. Just have a guess at what it does. Do, do, do you know? Can, can you guess? Let's see what Rift Slip does. That felt like it did nothing. Okay, hold on. Is this... Like, is it charging? Like, what's happening? I'm not too sure about these abilities, everyone. I'm not too sure about them. All right. I think it's time for us to go face the army. I, I think we found pretty much everything of use in this field. I think we can go tear through these guys now. And I am pretty confident we're just going to tear through them. Hi, everybody. How do you feel about this? Yeah, I didn't think they'd like it. It, it wasn't the like complete punch out I was hoping for. I guess that's probably just a case of everyone's getting high enough level that they can at least withstand that. And we can't upgrade that ability any further, so it's not like it's going to get any better. One thing we can do is we can greet these new guys with a twister, which is fun, and then basically just ignore them. Take confidence, or take a solace in the fact that we know they're all going to die back there. Go ahead and hit this guy with just thunder. Just, just, yeah, there we go. That's still a one-shot kill. Are we going to have to fight the chocobos as well? I'll tell you what, let's give her a chance. Let's give ourselves the opportunity to get some of our stuff relocated. Are uh, reloaded? R words are difficult. Okay. See, this guy has magic. He could be healing all of his friends. We definitely want to avoid that. And then finally, we've got a Mastiff. He's dead. You don't think all this is for us? Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't put it past Ultima. He's made nothing easy so far. Yeah, no, this is like a welcoming party is what this is. I'm assuming that for some reason it benefits him for us to be put through like stress and trial before we arrive. It's that or he's trying to delay the destruction of the last mother crystal so they can charge up however much ether he needs that he hasn't already gotten. But it could also be that he just wants to continue testing us and make sure that we're the correct vessel or some nonsense like that. Beautiful. Oh, was the other guy in the hood Ultima? Didn't we already learn that? I know I asked earlier, like, wait, what about the other hooded figure? But I'm pretty sure it was Ultima. I think that was already determined. Because didn't we see the little boy with the hood on, and he took the hood off, and he was all... Did I imagine that? Is that not a real thing that happened? Because the, the funny thing is, that's just as likely that that did not happen, and I completely made it up in my mind. Which is very funny in concept, isn't it? I really want to get a punch off on these guys. Good gosh, they're good at punching, though. There we go. That's all I wanted. I, I love how that lightning came through the building. That's beautiful. Okay, good. That was our brother. 
Every so often there's just a bright beam of light and I'm not sure if it's gonna kill me or if it's from my friendlies. See, you gotta stop worrying about me, Joshua. I know what's up. Oh, no, never mind. No, that's that's a bad sign. When the camera slowly pans in, yeah, see what I mean? I'm glad that I almost used um, the Flames of Rebirth. Is that what it's called or is it Radiant Pillar? I think I keep calling it Flames of, Re Flames of Rebirth, but I don't know if that's actually what it's called. We're about to find out. No, it's Flames of Rebirth. Maybe Joshua. I made up Radiant Pillar. Or maybe that's a different ability. I almost used it a second ago, but I'm glad that I didn't because it's coming in way more handy right now. Oh boy, I just ate that. Here we go. Just let that be a thing. Just let that go after whomever it's going to go after. Ultima, if this is the best you've got to send against me, we've already won the game. Just go ahead and stand down, Ultima. Come meet us at the gate. Explain the plot to us. Tell us all about the aliens and Earth's ancient past. Go ahead and explain all of that. So it doesn't have to be a mystery anymore. So uh, once again, uh, we're, we can pretend like we are the all almighty warriors that I like to pretend that we are. Nice. Sharp fangs, 20 of them. Don't go dying on me, Joshua. Don't go dying on me. Here if you like. Don't worry. I'll be fine. That's exactly what you would say if you weren't going to be fine. Are we going to be able to cure everyone? That's my main concern, is I don't want Jill and Joshua to turn to stone. I want to avoid that. Look, Clive. So that's I it, is it? That. The place is a fortress. I don't know why, but I sort of expected this would be more... developed? I sort of expected this to be a sprawling cityscape. I'm not mad that it isn't, I'm just surprised that it's not. It's just a big empty field. I'm assuming it gets more populated. It gets a little bit more urban the closer to the fortress we get. Why do they call this place Ash, anyway? Well, then again, I guess, why do they call the other island? What do they call it? Storm? Who named these things? If this if this is, is this, if this is Sharp Fangs, it's Amber. What am I going to do with all this Amber? I gotta stop giving me Amber. I don't have a reason for it. I wish there was things we could, you know, craft other than... The three things that we craft, you know, like two pieces of, of kit and a sword. If there was more varied crafting ability, finding all of this random nonsense would probably be worth no it. No villages. No knights. Not even any bodies. One could almost believe the whole kingdom had turned to Kashyyyk. I'm assuming it has. I'm assuming the entirety of Walud is just a wasteland of Akashic now. Which is kind of dark and depressing, a little bit. What do you suppose that is? It's not on Vivian's map. Probably for a good reason. Right. Just down here. That sounds like all the more reason to go in and investigate, right? Is there no way in? Really? Oh, this is like a a coliseum style like battle arena, is it not? There's no way to get in though. The game literally said you probably don't want to go in there and then refused to allow me to go in there. That's for later, I'm guessing. We'll come back here. We'll see what we'll see what the truth of this region is at some point. In the meantime, I guess we'll do what the game actually wants and we'll go down the stairs and activate the fast travel point. Can I jump off of here? I probably could, but I, I don't know about fall damage in this game. Is it a thing? We've never fallen far enough to find out, I don't believe. Alright, we'll go the way the game wants me to. I'll play your silly games. Game. Oh boy, the frame rate is not liking this at all. It is bad right now. Ooh. What have we here? Is this Are these creatures native to this realm? What is your story, little beast? 
Spigel, rank A. Alright, so we've got a bounty on this guy. This could be fun. Nice little distraction from the main story. I can also do electricity, as you can see. Although he does not seem to care. He does not seem to care about my electricity barely at all. How about fire? So far, he doesn't really seem to care much about that either, if I'm honest with you. What does he care about? From the looks of things, nothing. He looks unfazed by every attack I can throw at him. What's frustrating is when you go through, like you burn through every ability you have on you, and you get him staggered, and then you look away from the stagger gauge, the sole place you've been paying all of your attention, the only thing you've given any mind to, and you realize that, oh, right, no, he's taking barely any damage. Right. We're pretty good at getting him into a stagger phase and keeping him there for a while. I think if this guy actually had the opportunity to get hits in on us, we wouldn't last very long. But we've done a really good job of like getting him frozen, getting him staggered, pulling him down to the ground with a whip or whatever we're doing when that happens. If we stopped jumping into bolts of lightning, we might stand a better chance of defeating him. Just throwing that out there. Oh, perfect precision windup. Notorious Mark Slain. What did we get? Auric Alchem? Hey. I mean, we need so many other items also, though, to build the sword. So even if we did get a third, no, but we got a whisker. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. I'm sure it was. Yes, we love to exterminate creatures. We love being the cause <laughs> of endangered uh, species going into the um, getting. We we love taking endangered creatures off the endangered creature list by causing them to go extinct. Is what I was trying to say. But sometimes words are difficult, especially post-battle, when you got all that adrenaline flowing, your blood's pumping, your fingers are all sweaty, and then, you know, mom's spaghetti. It's hard to, like, structure sentences sometimes. Yeah! Perfectly understandable. Nothing wrong with it. Looking for... Oh, here, there we are. Found him. Right here. Laid the rest together. <laughs> Calm down there, Clive. I'll be able to see all the way to stone here. As fine a resting place as any man could hope for. Reunited with those he loves at last. Nice and simple little quest. The journey was half the fun. What is that over there? Is that like a church? What is that? I see you tucked away. The game has a destination it wants me to reach. And I can see that. And I can understand why it wants me to do that. Uh, what I lack, though, is the interest in doing what the game wants. I don't want to make for the Mother Crystal when I can make my way over to what appears to be an abandoned church. It's the bad... Batch conservator, Conservatory. So this is where they went after the Clone Wars. This is where they took um, Omega so that she would be safe. Am I close? Did I do it? Did I, did I make my way around? It doesn't look like this is the way the game wanted me to go, but this is the way that we've managed to get up here. Yeah, Bad Batch Conservatory. It's probably Bad Bach. Bad Bach. But Bad Batch is funnier. Oh... Looky there, what have we here? How do we get over to it? This way? We're, we're not sure what these are for here. We keep finding them, but they've yet to have a purpose. This one's awake. Yeah, that's odd, isn't it? It's the first one that we found that's awake. No? Oh. Chronoliths are similar to the Arena Stone. And that within them is hidden a virtual battlefield accessible by Clive and Clive alone. Each a Chronoloth presents Clive with a timed trial in which he must combat continuous waves of deadly enemies equipped only with the feet and abilities of a single icon. Let's see what's inside. Wait, no, I don't want to do this. Trial by Darkness. Ancient um, Minhir awaits a harrowing trial in which Clive must race to overcome hostile deadly foes wielding the blessing of but a single icon Odin. Not right now, maybe later. I have other objectives to complete. I have other things to attend to. I'm glad that we came back here and we checked, though. I'm glad we came back here and we checked, because now we know and now we can leave. Just get me the heck out of here. I gotta figure out how I got in here in the first place. Oh, there's that wall we were at. 
So there's where we actually need to be for the sake of the plot. And we could just head that way. But I noticed that there was also a house across the way here that I thought we might go ahead and look at, see what its story is, see what secrets it might hold. It looks like it's surrounded by a wall. So maybe there's a possibility that whoever lives here has been hold up, holding out against the Akashic. This could be like a whole village here. I'm assuming that everyone is dead. It looks like the gates are open and it's being guarded by Akashic serfs. So yeah, I'm assuming we're not gonna find people here. That'll do no, go. that is unfortunate. The least we can do is go ahead and um, avenge everyone who used to live here by killing what's left of their corpses. That seems like the nicest thing we could do for them. Not as interesting as I had hoped. I thought maybe we would find some people and they would tell us the, the tragedy of their land about how they were all of them turned into Akashic warriors. That is not the case and that's okay. Nope, not gonna fight you. I'm gonna try to summon a chocobo, but the game won't allow it. I would love to just ride away from this situation. I've no interest in fighting you, Mount Miner. Too young. Different kind of miner. The joke stands, all right? The joke stands. It's already been made. We can't go back on it. They are still in hot pursuit. The goal is to try to outrun them. Hopefully, yeah, they give up. And then we can just... Oh, gosh. Before this Mastiff catches us, he's running right at us. This might take a while. Gosh darn it. He slid out a battle call. Are all of his allies running to him as well? Look, let's just try to get to this marker here. This is a fast travel marker from the looks of things. And then maybe we can just cross this bridge and they'll leave us be. Quest destination nearby. You don't say. Beautiful. The calm before the storm. There's only one way into that city. Across the bridge. Through the main gate. Our brother can literally fly. I think there's two ways in. One of them involves right into the midst of just going up of the Lake King's army. Are you ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. Is this what brotherhood is? Approach Drake's spine. Do I have any other options? Looks like the rest of the realm is quiet. No quests or anything for us. Might as well see it through. of good fortune, perhaps? I hope you're right. So do I. What are the odds that we're just going to wander through the streets all the unaccosted? No, no. Yeah, no need to even ask the question. No need to even finish it. I see that we shall not be so lucky on this day. Oh, wow. Those guys back there did not get hit with it. I'm not used to that. Normally, everyone gets hit. There we go. Who remains? It's insane to me that every time I, tr like, not every time I, no, every time I parry, it is every time. 
I'm trying to do something else. It just happens to work out. But every time it happens, I'm trying to dodge. I'm trying to jump. I'm, I'm trying to land a hit, granted, but it's it's never intentional. It's always just I accidentally somehow manage to perfectly time things coincidentally. <sighs> Something tells me if I could have mastered that ability way earlier on in the game, would have had a much easier time with so many of the beasts and creatures that we have to contend with. If I could have mastered, like, landing a parry even half the time I tried, can you, can you imagine what we could have accomplished and the speed with which we could have accomplished it? Also, looks like we're getting a cutscene. I'm kind of curious what's going on with our uncle. He went to go find us an army. That minotaur? It's a behemoth. I take it back. Enough to tame such a beast. Looks like a gargoyle. Okay, it can cast a meteor. No going back now! Get up. Again, we can just turn into an icon and fly. We can do that. That's an ability we have that we never exercise. We got such a thick neck. Why has he got such a thick neck? Well, what are we waiting for? No one needs a neck that thick. Okay, then. <sighs> He can freeze. And as I've said many times, if they can freeze, they can be defeated. I hate him. Just for the look of him, I hate him. He's disgusting. He's thick. You know petting him's not pleasant. Yeah, because I'm looking at him like a big dog is what he is. But he doesn't have... He's like a big bald dog. Who wants that? Nobody wants him. I mean, I guess unless you have like some sort of really bad allergies. Maybe you're into like a bald dog, but I'm not about that life personally. Um, let's go ahead and smack him real good. I see that our brother also turned on his wings that he never uses. Good timing on that. Done some decent damage with it. I think we're going to let loose the twister as soon as this is done. Yeah, right now. The reason being, my position on it is, it's, you know, like, it's free damage. Um, epic meteor? I'm sorry. That is an epic meteor. I'm with you, Joshua. It seems like a bad thing. I don't know if that's going to help us. You ever heard of the dinosaurs? I guess they couldn't cast Ward. He's very upset about this. Look at this weird little naked, oversized dog body like, sway back and forth in anger. I think this might be a job for Ifrit. Yeah. We can do that at any time. We can just be a Why would you turn to him, brother? Why wouldn't we turn to him? There's no reason not to be a freed as far as I can tell. When we fight, They've got me saying it, they're freed now. Together. <laughs> together, as brothers, we will press, press square as hard as we can. It would have been great if we knocked it back into him. That would have been good. I would have liked that. That wasn't too bad. That was just the beginning. That was perfect timing right there. He's so close to death. Just defeat him. Just defeat him. Just defeat him. Just just defeat him. Just do it. Just do it. Just just hit him with everything you got. He's basically dead. Just kill him. Just kill him. I'm hitting him. I'm not even moving. I refuse to move. Why will he not die? Why does he get to do this no matter what? Why does he get to do this no matter what? He should be dead by now. He should be dead now.
I'm okay. I'm okay. It's you who's not okay. I'm fine. I'm I'm perfect. I'm everything's good. Everything we got the behemoth shackle. We got it. Absolutely, we did. We we got it. We got whatever that whatever that's used for. We have it now. Clean the Wait, blood off our blade. Let's off carry cut. on. If it is like the others, the entrance to the inner sanctum will be at the foot of the crystal. We're almost there. Yeah, but we're living on a prayer. I can't swear that we'll make it. Silently up the stairs we go. Into this new, fresh nightmare. They, they won't let it up. They just won't let it up. Okay. Now here's what I'm thinking, right? See those guys down there? That would suggest to me that that's the direction we want to go. But there's guys down here as well. Why is that? Can we bring them all together? How many guys can I wipe out with this going once? How far back can it reach? Can it hit the guys real far back? I feel like we just damaged a bunch of enemies. But there's still so many more down here to deal with. So it kind of looks like this all leads to the same place anyway. This is definitely not the most straightforward path we could have taken. I'm, I'm not sure if the game is forcing us to go this way. I didn't even try to go the way that looked like the most straightforward path. I'm just pursuing this. It's taken me all around town. This Once is where we, we want to go. Bridge will be easy targets. Yeah, that's well spotted. Quickly. Okay, hold on. Hold on. No, yeah, let's do this. We should have waited until... We should have waited until everything was recharged to deal with this. It's too late now, though. Oh, these guys are... They're fodder. They're fodder. Rip right through them. They're nothing. They're all already dead. Come along, brother. Come along, Thorgal. We, I still don't feel like we know Torgal's secrets, you know what I mean? Oh, like, we kind of got... Oh, boy. We kind of got an idea of what he's all about when we found out Come that on, at least what his type of dog for? used to serve, um... Shiva, but I don't feel like we really got, like, the full answer on that. It kind of feels like we just sort of took that as all we needed to know and carried on from there. I'm gonna kill this thing, and then I'm gonna go kill this thing. Just to spite it. Just to show it that it can't contribute anything to society. It can't keep this guy alive. Not when he's up against me. <laughs> so that it can't contribute anything to society. That's that's the message I just passed on to that robot. Through the castle, then. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, I suppose that's what we're doing. It does make me wonder if we're going to come across the alternative path we might have been able to take if I'd been paying the slightest lick of attention. Ooh. That's some pretty decent lighting there. Like that. This is some interesting music. Very heavy on the trumpet. Well, I don't know if that's a trumpet. I don't know my musical instruments well enough to say. That could be a trombone for all I know. What I'm saying, it's, it's heavy on the deep horn. Hmm. 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 I'll just leave it at that. That way I won't get myself in trouble with the band guys in the audience. My friend Nathan watches this. He'll have a lot to say on the matter. He not only did band in high school, he, like, was on an award-winning band and also teaches band or taught band at some point. So my man knows his musical instruments, particularly the horns. I think he played trombone, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken, though. That, that's the issue. So, I mean, what? here's the thing. Even before the skies were full of ether, and before everyone here was turned to Kashyyyk, this place still wouldn't be nice. It's all, like, grim stone and depressing. Why? What are, what are you going to contribute to the fray that the other enemies we fought today hasn't already? Enemy slain indeed. We've got, once again, a thousand points for upgrading any abilities we might want to upgrade. But I don't know if there's any we would want to upgrade that can be upgraded for so little. So we'll just let those keep building up. We've got a lot of gold if we wanted to go around the world now and uh, try our hand at getting all the orchestrations. We might get close. Boy, the frame rate's getting choppy, though, isn't it? 
So that's definitely the way we want to go to continue the plot. That means that down here is where the super secret treasure is hidden. 2400 gil is not bad. That's going to contribute to buying all of the music scrolls in the game, which is something we're going to do. So we can go down or we can go up. This looks like a dead end. So we'll just grab the high potion. We're doing pretty decent. We've not used a lot of potions. We've used potions. Don't misunderstand me. We've used potions. We've just not used a lot. So we're doing pretty decent on that front. Oh, it's these guys that can't contribute anything to society. Back to the grave with all of you. <laughs> Actually, though... <laughs> Plenty of gil. Why are they carrying gil? Maybe they run on gold. That would explain it. Because I can't think of any other reason that these autonomous robotic creatures would have, like, just loads of gold coins on them. Unless they're powered by gold. Like those aliens in Cowboys vs. Aliens. Which is a ridiculous title for a film, but the film itself is actually halfway decent. I went to see that with some friends once. I remember so walking in thinking this looks so stupid. So and that's the reason they wanted to We're see it. They're like, it's gonna be dumb. And you know what? It definitely wasn't like the highest quality cinema that I'd ever seen in my life, but it, it was it was not as terrible as I was expecting it to be. I was thinking it was going to be like unbearably cheesy, indefensibly just awful and corny, and surprisingly it wasn't. I think if you took the aliens out of it, you'd have a halfway decent western movie, really. And then you add the aliens, and it's a pretty halfway decent just alien invasion movie. And in spoilers, I guess, they're just there to mine gold because it's the Wild West, and of course that's what they're there to do. Of course they are there to mine gold. It checks out. It's what you would do in the we're Wild West. Fight. Yeah, we're running out of our abilities that can damage, like, multiple enemies at once. This guy here, though, I'm hitting him immediately. Yeah, he was going to be our hes gonna be our issue. He's going to be our healer. He's going to be our buffer, and now he's nothing. He's just it's dead. Over. He is nothing. He was nothing in life, and he's nothing now in death. It's over. Same for all of these guys. Good thunderbolts and lightning. Only slightly frightening. It'd be cool if as we went, we could open... Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> what I was going to say was it'd be cool if as we went, we could open gates that would allow us to pass through the city more easily in the future. But I don't think we can ever come back here. I don't think unless you're like replaying missions, you can go back to the big capital cities, which again is a bummer. And I've not finished the game yet, so I don't know what happens at the end. But I think it'd be cool if after the game... Instead of doing the thing where you go to fight the final boss and then you go back in and it's just like moments before going in to fight the final boss, which is something that I hate in video Let's games. Because it, it... It makes anything you do post-game feel... Pointless. Because it's like, okay, but if I ever... Like, the, the boss isn't defeated. And he never will be. It, it makes everything you do in the game feel slightly less... I don't know. Impactful, important. I, I, I hate when games do that. It'd be cool if instead when you came back in, it was post-game and you could just go back and visit all these cities and maybe help in the rebuilding effort and have a little post-game thing you could do there. That'd be fun. We're not going to get that, but that would be fun. Ah! Oh no, there's more! Well, I'm glad I didn't use this. This is going to come in really handy right now. Glad I held on to that. That one guy in the background there does not look like he was close enough for it to affect him. You don't want to know. Okay, let's stop. Okay, stop attacking him. Get this guy instead. There you go. Okay. There you go. See, now, Clive, now you can get him. See how much easier that was when you, when you play the game properly? What, was he just taunting us? What was, was he just taunting us? Sure. I'm not convinced that this was going to be it, though. So I'm not going to do uh, Flames of Rebirth. What is it called? Yeah. And we're not going to do that because just in case when we defeat him, there's a whole new army arriving. I want to have that kind of ready to go. Same with uh, using the Twister. I like how I'm, I, I've always been very careful to call Flames of Rebirth by its proper name, but the Twister is just the Twister. I don't know what it's actually called, and I don't care to. This might be the killing blow. I feel winded after these fights. I'm not doing anything but mashing my fingers. We got some sharp things. 
We got some sharp. It was all worth it in the end. There's no end to them. The whole bloody army's here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the idea. Stand back, Joshua. No, Flames of Rebirth can handle this. Stop, Clive. You mustn't. We still have a long way to go. If you tap your strength here, you'll have none left to destroy the heart. We could just Did run away. Die? Oh! It's amazing that they knew to do that right there just then. The whole party's here. Jill. That's not the most surprising person to find here. Honestly, look the 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 freaking uh, heir apparent to the empire is here. Who could have seen that coming? With that stunning smile, Gav's here. Presumably, Uncle Byron's back there, right on the boat. Mid's here as well. They brought an army, buddy. That we've actually got a real Final Fantasy party now. We finally did it. Everyone we've met throughout our adventures joined us for this. It's beautiful. It's a bit of a thing. We didn't get to watch the fight. It would have been awesome if we had. Probably would have cost too much in the budget, though. Ten million dollar cutscene? <laughs> Worth it. Surprised to see us. Yes, and not all fry yeah. frames per second. He told us exactly where you'd be. Even sniffed out a crack in the castle wall. And when we saw the heavens come, what is down, happening to the frame rate no right now? When it pinches in on them, it gets rough. <laughs> It's been quite a day. <laughs> to what do we owe this honor? A debt I would see repaid. Prince Dion. It's good to see you well. So, this must be Ifrit. Your uncle bade me give you a message. Listen to your heart. It will guide your steel true. Your father would expect no less. That is all. So Byron's not here. Thank you. For everything. Your Highness. Dion, please. You do realize the only thing we've freed so far is this wall from its foundations, right? Hey! You know, if your lord and lady ship, Everybody's uh, here! Except finished. for our uncle. <laughs> well said, Gaff. We have work to do. Is this... Okay, the fact that he's here... That generally means... Don't suppose is how I can say to make you change your mind. So I'll just tell you to stay safe. I appreciate it. And won't take kindly to losing a best customer. Especially after letting us carry all this stuff all the way to Ash. I don't plan on dying here today. Old man. You mean... You'll buy some of us? Yeah, we'll probably need to stock up on potions. Let me show you me wares. <laughs> you desperately uh, need to stock up on some potions. You need? Right on, here you go. How and else then, I can do for you? I get. Oh, okay. Well, what we actually want is this, but we're not. We're not there yet. It's That's all done then. No. Is the idea that once we walk through that gate, there's no coming back? If Sid were here today, I reckon he'd be proud of you, Clive. He'd be proud of us all. The Torgal just starts have talking. Far without you, Torgal. No, you couldn't have. That's this how Torgal talks. Each parting brings the hope of reunion. I missed you, Clive. I missed you too. There is still much I would learn of your tale. Once this day is done. Until then, all who might come between me and such knowledge shall answer to my spear. That's what we like to hear. Well, folks, I think this is as good a place as any to call it for this episode. 
Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for watching. God bless each and every one of you. I'll see you later. Goodbye.